What's up, everybody? There's something I want to talk about. I'm getting a tripod soon for this uh, for this camera, so you won't have to look at my neck and shirt all the time, or just part of my head. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna get all comfortable here. Put on my seatbelt because that's what I like to do. I like to drive and talk in front of the camera. I don't recommend it. Don't do it. Um, do it when you have your when you when you're not holding the camera phone okay uh, what I'm doing is probably not the best idea I wanted to talk about something since I'm waiting for my friend to get out so we can do some eBay business y'all um, the one thing I wanted to talk about is um has nothing to do with eBay business it actually has everything to do with uh, okay I just ate chicken okay let's make sure I I had a video where I ate a protein bar. I had protein bar on my on my cheek and on my videos. I just want to make sure I just ate some food. <sighs> okay, where was I? Yes. So I wanted to make a video about uh, about helping people and why uh, why is it why is it important? <laughs> what what like how do you feel when you help someone? Even if they're like, and what, what do you do when you help someone? And how do you help someone? If somebody comes up, this happened to me recently. If somebody comes up to you and they just like go, they just go at the problems at you. They just throw your problems at you. And uh, at that time, they're looking for, they're looking like they're either telling the truth or looking to take advantage of you. And they're crying their eyes out to, and they're either telling the truth and playing the victim card or they're lying and playing the victim card. So, you know, what are you going to do in that situation? Well, if you uh, if you even stutter, two or four, if you even stutter for a little bit, like a few seconds, if you don't got a rebuttal, they're gonna come back at you with something, okay? So you know what I did? I said uh, I didn't care if they were lying or not. <laughs> did she just come up to me? Was like, can you please drive me to the gas station? It's just, whew. she just talking about her infected foot talked about her um her kids being hungry and talked about her husband drinking so i just said she started crying and um this was on my friend's driveway I was about to leave um as i was going to my van she came up to me um complaining about this and uh when she like she's like my foot hurts it's infected and i got all these problems my, my kids are starving and my husband keeps drinking and she's just started crying I said you know what I'm gonna see if I got something for you now I was confident I was gonna be like oh they're there they're there you're a victim I wanted to give her compliment uh, confidence I wanted to give her like something to look forward to and give her you know more positive energy instead of like you know uh, feeding off that negative energy like a, like a fucking rubber band like shooting a rubber band back each four to each other Oh, they're there, you know because we have a, we have a tendency to help people to our uh, who are uh, who are in need and, uh, and A lot of people ignore those feelings, but when I was um When when that happened I just say you know I, I You know I stood up straight my head held high. I said, you know, you want to influence people, have good posture. I said, you know, I'm just going to see what I got for you. I looked at my van, uh, got out like <laughs> as much as I could at the time, like one dollar and some odd cents. And, um, and, and, uh, my friend tried to like, so she, she got any money? No, no, she didn't. She didn't have any um, food. I mean, we were looking for food for her. And she was like, bless you, and I just said, she, oh, I saw off of what she said. She said, could you drive me to the gas station? And I said, yes, I'll drive you to the gas station if you could stop crying for me. She said, I, I gave her a Kleenex, and she said, okay, I'll just wipe off my tears. Lord help me. And uh, once she said that, I'm like, are you, okay, now that you're stopped crying, let's get in the van. And you know what? We had a decent conversation, you know. I kind of feel people out before I like uh, actually uh, do anything. But if it's uh, if it's something, somebody having a bad day, I 
I throw my, what I can. I plant the seed of uh, of confidence as much as I can. And uh, that person was like, um, uh, she was like talking about uh, like um, she doesn't have any money for food. And I was like, you know what? Are you hungry? She's like, well, yeah. I'm like, let's go get some food. I'm kind of hungry too. And she's like, yeah, my kids don't got any food. And I'm like. If worst comes to worst, um, I just go in the backyard and get a squirrel, shoot a squirrel and eat it. And she got a good laugh out of that. Like we, um, we had a decent, um, you know, a decent drive over there. And um, I got her a healthy drink, a uh, healthy fruit, like uh, fruit drink. And she got her, she got something, and uh, I paid for it. And that was that. I gave her some food. And on the way out, I, I told her like I told her what I learned. You know, life's gonna throw some terrible things at you, and it's how you act in situations you have no control over. How are you gonna act in situations you have no control? Are you gonna be a victim? Or are you gonna be a fighter? Are you gonna Are you going to be desperate? Or are you gonna be responsible? Uh, are you If you go, um, I didn't tell her this, but if you go up to a car dealership and you just go, uh, if you go up to say like a job you're applying for not just for a car dealership and you go up to them with their problems and if you say yeah I'm I'm doing really bad I got like my kids are hungry and I got a uh, my foot sore I got my husband drinks a lot if you go out them with that problem what do you think they're gonna do you think they're gonna hire you no dude nobody wants nobody wants to Misery loves company. People who are miserable wants people to uh, be on that same level and actually relate. And it's not always the case, but in this case, I really felt like um, it felt it could be something um, something to relate to. But anyhow, instead of doing that, like um. You gotta go up to that business and be like, "Yeah, oh, that's great. Uh, what are the job opportunities? You know, and that's great. Is um, uh, is there room for growth, or is there um, like uh, what is you know, explore what the how the business runs? You know, oh man, yeah, that's pretty much it. And yeah, just pretty much told her uh." told her the great the best i read somewhere in the uh one of the greatest values is how you act in situations you have no control over and uh you know life's gonna throw some bad stuff at you and how are you gonna act in those situations i read about books of people who make it in life that went from nothing to something and she was like yeah you're right yeah you know i gave her a hug said goodbye and uh you know that all that matters is just planting that seed is just planting that little seed of like that um she might do something decent with her life at, at least like maybe that one little bit bit of uh knowledge gonna help her read a book or something or or like um i even told her about jobs that are hiring so i hope um i hope for the best for her i hope for the best for you and um and keep uh keep trekking you know, have positive, um, positive outlook, uh, grow those positive seeds in your mind, and uh, keep looking forward to a better future and a more positive future. And uh, life's not perfect all the time, but it's how we act in those situations that we have no control over. I know I say that a lot, but it's good to get that out there as much as you can. So, I'll talk to you soon. Peace out, y'all.